Hey, what's up guys? Enrique here, broker and team leader with a weekly tip for you guys to grow your business. And I wanna to talk today about social media content and how to create effective Instagram Reels. A lot of agents are jumping on the Instagram train and starting to put themselves out there, but what is the proper way to do it? How do you get the most bang for your buck? How do you get the most engagement? What are some of the steps that you can do? So I'm gonna talk about my framework and what I use uh, when I create uh, social media Reels. And I've been doing video content for over six years now and video has taken my business to a whole new level. I've gained so many clients, so many agents that have joined my team and just have been uh, really able to open doors and opportunities, build my brand, etc. So you need to make sure that you're putting yourself out there, but you want to do it with a strategy. So let's dive into it. So when you're con uh, creating Instagram content and Instagram reels, we have to understand the mindset of the people that are consuming your content. If you go on Instagram or Facebook or any of these social media platforms, there are hundreds and thousands of videos that are scrolling by, you know, on someone's feed every single moment. So we need to understand that going in and you need to approach it with that in mind. To make effective content, number one, what we gotta understand is you wanna make sure that your setup is good. And one of the things uh, to pay attention to is what is your audio like, right? Are you recording from your cell phone? Uh, do you have a mic, right? Or maybe AirPods. AirPods are really effective if you're trying to record from your cell phone. So having good audio is gonna enhance the quality of your video. This, one way, this way when someone clicks on it or watches it, they have a better experience. If you're in a really noisy room where they can barely hear you or if you're outside and there's cars passing by, someone might just scroll to the next one because there's other videos that are coming their way. So having decent audio, doesn't have to be super high end, but just something that's decent, right? The mic, the AirPods, etc., will really take your audio to the next level. The other thing you, you wanna pay attention to is gonna be lighting, right? Now, natural light is always a great way to go. So like if you were to stand in front of a window and have light coming in towards you, that's gonna make your videos a lot better than being like in an office with the light right above you where it casts a shadow and makes you look really dark. Uh, you don't. You never want to have a light behind you because that's also going to make you look really dark. So finding an area in the room that you're going to record in that's you know has some decent lighting, where it flatters you, it makes it look good, it makes the video uh, image look bright and crisp. That's going to enhance the quality of your video as well. So you got your audio and your lighting. Now let's say you got that all set up and now you want to go into actually recording the video. The first thing is you need to understand how you are going to frame the conversation. I think this is where many agents go wrong. Many agents go wrong because they're trying to make their videos appeal to everybody out there. And like if you're gonna give a tip, for example, like on how to buy a home or how to sell a home, you're not speaking to every single person that follows you. So you don't wanna make your video so general and so broad that you're trying to speak to every single person that follows you because it's not gonna resonate with everybody. So if you're speaking to first time home buyers, act like there's an actual first time home buyer in front of you and you are speaking directly to them. Don't try to make it appeal to sellers or anything else, like speak directly towards that person that you're trying to reach so that the message really resonates. Don't try to be super safe on your videos, right? Like don't try to make it appeal to the masses, like really give your thoughts, give your opinion. You know, when you're stating facts, you know, or things happening in the market, you wanna back that up by what your perspective is. What's your opinion on the matter? Because that's gonna build your brand, your identity, and the audience will really be able to resonate with that. You don't want your uh, opinion about something to be the same as every other agent out there. Okay guys, so we got our setup, we got our lights, we got our, uh, our audio, we understand how to frame the conversation, right? So let's dive into the actual logistics, right? Of making a really good Instagram reel or Facebook reel. So number one is you have to have an intro or a hook. Now, since a people's attention span is really short on social media, I would skip the whole introduction of like, hey, this is Enrique, you know, uh, I'm this realtor, I'm in this area, because you're gonna lose people within those first few seconds. And if someone is already clicking on your video or they're already on your page, it's gonna be assumed that they already know who you are because you probably have your information in your bio or maybe you're connected with them somehow. So skip the whole entire introduction of saying who you are and what area you serve. Just go right into the topic. Now make sure that that first sentence that you say is gonna be some sort of hook or attention grabber. For example, if I wanted to talk about like the three steps to buying a home, that's really general, right? So I would maybe wanna say it in a way that's gonna grab people's attention. Like, hey, if you're looking to buy, here's the number one thing you need to look out for before moving forward with your home loan or before going out and searching for a home. That's gonna get a, a lot more people's attention than these are the three steps to buy your home. Do you know what I'm saying? So it, there has to be some sort of hook 
that's going to grab people's attention and bring them in. And then you can navigate them through the process in that actual uh, video. Now, in your video, once you're actually past the hook part, you always want to come up with anywhere from one to three bullet points. I would never recommend like the five steps or the 10 steps, especially if it's like a one minute reel. There's no way that you can really go deep and cover five or 10 steps in one minute. That means you're not going to really go deep with that topic. So I would always stick, stick with maybe one bullet point if it's a short reel or maybe two or three at the max and make sure you give some context on what you're talking about. So go deep, you know, with that particular topic, with that bullet point. Explain the pros, the cons, give your opinion. Don't try to give everything at once because you want to leave a reason for people to reach out to you and ask for more information, right? We're not trying to give people the whole entire roadmap in a one minute Instagram reel. So once you got your bullet points and your topics, then you always want to close out with some sort of call to action. So tie it back to the intro or to the hook. For example, back to what I said, hey, the one step you can avoid, biggest pitfall you want to avoid when buying a home. Then at the end of your video, you're going to say, hey, to find out more pitfalls you, could, you should avoid, reach out to me for information. Or to get some more information about this particular topic, feel free to reach out to me. There has to be some sort of call to action at the end, which gives people permission of how you want them to reach out to you. You can also be specific. Send me a DM, call me at this phone number, send me an email, go to my website, whatever it is that you want to do, but you have to have a call to action. So guys, that's the basic framework of what I've used to make hundreds and hundreds of videos, which have generated probably millions of dollars in commissions and opportunities and stuff like that over the years. So I really encourage you to you know, go back study this stuff and start putting this to action. I want to see some of you guys making videos, tag me in your videos. I'd be more than happy to share them and help each other build our brand and build our audience. Now here's my call to action. If you need any help with coaching or you want to go deeper with this, right? Or you're interested in growing your business or seeing what a potential partnership could be like with myself and my team or my organization, feel free to book a call with me at meetenrique.com. Talk to you soon.